It's news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. I will win against Tinubu and Atiku put together come 2023. They should join the Elders Advisory Council, Adamu Gaba. The news in full. Adamu Gaba, who happens to be the former EPC presidential aspirant, has assured Nigerians that he is going to win this 2023 presidential election. He announced it via Facebook. Inshallah, I will win against Tinubu and Atiku put together come 2023. They are my parents and I respect them, but the leadership of the Nigerian with average age of 18 years is not for them. They should join the Elders Advisory Council for now on. And this was the reaction of Adam Mugaba towards the presidential bid come 2023, where at a point in time we know that Adam Mugaba had once contested for the 2023 presidential election, but Atiku was the one actually made to you know, go uh, to bid against President Muhammad Buhari, and this time around he says that though Tinubu and Atiku put together are experienced and he respects them, but then this leadership, uh, you know, now needs them to join the Elders Advisory Council, and then he's going to beat them out down for the 2023 uh, election coming through. The president thanked the United Nations General Secretary. Antonio Guterres for the confidence reposed in the former Minister of Environment, a statement released by a spokesperson that is Femi Adesina said that it was another opportunity for Mohammed to serve the global body and also humanity, which further enhances you know, the voice and presence of Nigeria. Uh, you know, a long line. Umayi also, that is the governor of Abia State, Governor Okwezi Ikbiasu, has reviewed that Umayi's declaration of interest in 2023 presidential race was a demonstration of his democratic act. Okezie, who happens to be uh, the Abia State governor, responding to Governor Umayi's declaration, said that every Nigerian who possesses the requisite qualifications has the right to aspire for any political office of one's choice. Governor Ikwiazu, who spoke through his chief press secretary, Onyebuchi Eminaka, wished Umayi well in his new political ambition and Southeast uh, you know, APC, uh, that is the Young Progressive Forum, has also commended the appointed state gov governor, Umayi, for declaring his interest to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in the next democratically elected president of, of Nigeria. The Buhari led administration keeps making records in the army, uh, in the army of the Nigerian military, and coming just a few months after it supplied quite a number of mine resistant ambush protected MRAP uh, vehicles to the Nigerian army. The Buhari led administration has recently made another history by supplying another set of CSVP3 Bigfoot MRA multipurpose armored vehicles to them so as to enhance their conquest of insurgents and other violent criminal groups. The new military adwords were supplied on the 19th of November 2021 and have since been inducted into the Nigerian Army Ordinance, after which they were deployed for combat operations against insurgents and the Northeast as well as against bandits in the other parts of the country. With these continuous military supplies by Buhari administration, that has become essential to point out that the administration has made Nigerian history about uh, being the best in equipping and arming the country's soldiers, which is an essential element in motivating the troops to serve the nation with all their arts. The new artillery guns for Nigerian army to equip and uh, re-energize the military establishment for optimum performance in securing the territorial integrity of the country, President Muhammadu Buhari administration has brought a new set of artillery guns for the Nigerian army, and the new artillery guns were inducted into the armor, armory of the Nigerian army on the 19th of December 2020 at the headquarters of the Nigerian Army School of Artillery, NASA, in Kakia, Kaduna State, after which they were deployed against insurgents and other violent groups in the part of the country. Overall, it is very patriotic step taken by the Buhari administration in equipping and modernizing the Nigerian's military establishment that has suffered long neglect from the previous administration. Yet, out of school children uh, figure is witnessing a massive rise of funds everywhere. We can't travel in peace. The economy is crumbling. People are burnt while traveling. The protesters marched from Audubaku secretariat to the Kanu. Uh, you know, government house where security operatives received the group of protesters, listened to them and promised to take the matter further to the appropriate quarters. 
Meanwhile, following the recent spike in terror attacks in Sukuto and Katsina states, President Mohamed Buhari has dispatched a high-level delegation made up of heads of national intelligence uh, and security services to the two states. According to a statement by the President's senior special assistant on media and publicity, Gaba Shu on Friday, Buhari expects the delegation or, uh, to, represent, to present an immediate situation report and recommendations on actions to follow to effectively deal with the worrying situation. And also, the Funk Social Democratic Party, SDP, Professor Yowuse Aga has urged separatist agitators to go about the agitations in a civilized manner to avoid bloodshed. In an interview with Vincent Kalu, the Professor Agia, a former senator who has served twice as minister and twice as ambassador, said that the three zones that have produced president should wait for the other three zones to have president. After that, he noted that the president should be chosen purely through popular contest, the void of zoning. Many Nigerians have tried to go back in history to situate Nigerians' problems in the amalgamation of 1914. They say that Nigerians' amalgamation into one country should never be taking place because of our differences. These groups insist that the amalgamation's expiry date is over and is now the time for the dissolution of the Federation. But I say these people are wrong. There is no manual for the formation of nations, wars, accidents, imperialism, necessity, agreements, arbitrations, and consensus have all given birth to countries. Our nation was born from imperialism and they became a British colony after the Berlin Conference of 1884 to 1885. But we shook off the shackles of colonialism and emerged as an independent nation. The whole world still uh, understanding that Nigeria would be a great nation and would wipe away the tears of all black people of the world by building a great democracy and a republic where justice and honor, peace and progress will be showcased. The reasons for the failure to attain greatness are that we have poor leaders and poor followers who have not been, uh, who have not been able to make nation building their number one priority. Our leaders have continued to wallow in ethnic racism and corruption. Ironically, it was based on Pan-African unity and nationalism, and our founding fathers got independence. But soon after independence, we have systematically uh, destroyed every fabric of nation-building through corruption and ethnic racism. The last six years have been the very worst in throwing up Nigeria's fault lines. The parties have failed to give leadership, and they lack ideological commitment, purpose, or clarity. The weak institutions of states have been unable to defend democracy, and the Nigerian people have yet not resolved on nation, national greatness. When we decide, nobody can stop us, the professor says. The professor also noted that the Nigerian elite must come together and overcome their apathy and decide to make Nigeria great through comprehensive restructuring of the federation, saying that we need more efficient and uh, learner federal, civil and public service, and that we need the states to be stronger and the federal government to divest itself